Hello, welcome to the wild card round, also known as the first round of the NFL playoffs, and these are my predictions for it. Last week, which was the season finale, the ending of the regular season, I got 10 predictions correct, and I got 6 of them wrong. Those 6 were Browns, Jaguars, Chargers, Dolphins, Commanders, and Falcons. The rest of them I got right, and I've just noticed that both NFC West games had the exact same scores. Great. But we, we didn't get through. We didn't get through. It hurts. It hurts. Just needed the Bears to win and we would have made it, but not really much we could have done. Just got to hope for a good off season. Anyways, the wild card round is upon us. So this video will be much shorter. And I presume the videos moving forward would also be just shorter than the last by quite a lot. I might make a short for the, the last two or three, I guess. But I decided I'll make a video on this one. Considering it would take about 10 minutes, that's, that's enough for a video. And we start things off with the Browns at the Texans. Houston managed to clinch their division after they beat Indianapolis and Jacksonville lost to Tennessee. Quite frankly, Indianapolis and Houston both deserve it more than Jacksonville does. Because the Jags have been very flimsy this latter half of the season. But the Texans and Colts have had a massive improvement from last season. Because I believe week 18, last season, they were fighting over to see if they'd get who'd get the number one pick. And Houston won, so they didn't get it, and Carolina got it. Well, no, Chicago got it, but Carolina had traded with them already. But this is a huge improvement, getting their rookie quarterback and having him lead the team to the playoffs and their first division title in a few years. And they're taking on the Browns, who have looked very dangerous over these past few weeks, not only with their defense, but the fact that Joe Flacco seems to be the best quarterback they've had all season. Joe Flacco is just a really good quarterback, and this is a matchup of teams with two teams with great offenses and great defenses. However, I do think that the Browns are just a little bit better and more reliable than the Texans. So I do think the Browns will walk away with a win and move on to the divisional round. The next game is the Dolphins at the Chiefs. This time when Dolphins and Chiefs are playing each other, one of them is at home. And it's in Arrowhead where Tyreek Hill will be going back. And the Dolphins are out for revenge against the Chiefs. But they both seem a bit, like, fraudulent, I guess. The Chiefs have had a massive decline from last season. They're nowhere, they don't look nearly as strong as they did last season. And that's mainly due to their lack of receivers, reliable receivers, considering defen defences are double-covering Travis Kelsey. And the other receivers are just making drops, so they've got to rely on basically just Rasheed Rice as a receiver. The occasional Kelsey throw when he's open. And for their run game, they've got Pacheco. But it's a lack of receiving that is bringing the Chiefs down, although they are still winning games, albeit not convincingly. They are still winning. The Dolphins, on the other hand, have a lot of injuries. They're a bit banged up at the moment. So, I don't think they can be fully trusted either. And given that the Chiefs thrive in the playoffs, and it's in our head, I am going to pick Kansas City to win. I don't know if they'll go past the divisional round. I, know, I think they'll get to it, 
but I don't think they'll go past it. So I think this is going to be the last win of the Chiefs season. But at least they get a playoff win, right? And the final AFC game is the Steelers at the Bills. The Steelers, how on earth, after a season of doing almost nothing, how have they managed to get themselves into the playoffs? It's beyond me. Meanwhile, the Bills, they have been on a bit of a hot streak. They've won their last few games, but they've not won it by a massive amount. Although I do think they can find their footing easier than Pittsburgh can. Being in Buffalo, I think this will give them an advantage. And with the Steelers not really being fully reliable, and they're kind of they're probably the most mid team in the playoffs at the moment. Maybe the Eagles, you could argue. But I do think the Bills will win, so I'm going to go with Buffalo. Moving on to the NFC. The first game on is Packers at Cowboys. This one's tough for me, because I feel like Cowboys will win because they're at home, and Dallas is a, being in Dallas is a very strong advantage for them. But it's a big game, and I don't fully trust Dak Prescott to pull his weight and carry help carry the team, or at least do enough for the team to be able to get them through. The Packers have nothing to lose, really. They swept the Bears this season. They got into the playoffs with a with the quarterback's first year as a starter. It seems like. Doesn't matter what happens here, the Packers season is a win. I'm sure they need help on the defense. But that can be improved upon upon the draft. Um, improved upon in the draft. Although there's no guarantee they'll get good draft picks. However, it is only the first round. I do think Dallas will manage to get a win. Normally if they're out, it's in the divisional or wild card, but I think they are a good enough team to be able to make it to the divisional round. I don't know if they'll go past it, but I do think that I do think they'll be able to beat Green Bay in Dallas. So I'm gonna go with the Cowboys. The next game, ooh, <laughs> it's the Rams at the Lions. Ford Field hosting a playoff game for the first time. And Matthew Stafford is returning. Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff were traded from the other team a few years ago. And it's benefited both of them greatly. And it, it just feels so scripted, doesn't it? You've got Tyreek Hill going back to Arrowhead. You've got Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff facing their former teams. As well as Stafford returning to Ford Field. And if... This is all correct. Then the Browns play the Ravens, so it's Joe Flacco against his former team, the Ravens, who he won a Super Bowl with. So it was very scripted, but moving on to the this game, uh, this one is this one is the most difficult game for me to decide because honestly, I think both I think both teams are fully capable of beating the other. Lions have the home field advantage and they're fury of that Cowboys game, but they've lost Sam Laporta to a knee injury and they didn't exactly thrash the Vikings. It was still a fairly close game. I think it was 30 to 24. Something like that. But the Rams, the Rams, their offense can definitely be trusted. I don't know if their defense can. And because of that, I think, because the Lions, I think, have the slightly better defense, I am actually going to pick the Lions, but I would not be surprised if this was a close game that ended within, like, a one-score, one-possession score, or 
whether it was a field goal difference or if it even went to overtime. I wouldn't be surprised. I think this would be the best game of the week. But ultimately, I will pick the Lions, although I, the Rams winning would be the least surprising least surprising team to win out of all the ones I've not picked. And finally, probably the most mediocre game of of this this week, or even the playoffs, it's the Eagles at the Buccaneers. This one's also a difficult one for me because I don't think either team should beat the other. The Eagles beat the Bucks earlier in the season. I think it was in week three. But that was when they actually looked like a good team. Now they are, they really do not. And they've gone, I think in their last seven games, six games, they're like one and I think it's six games. Their last six games, they're one and five, I think. They started 10 and one. And they they're slipping down. They're just on a steep decline. And the Buccaneers, two weeks ago, this would three two, three weeks ago, this would have been much easier, but the last two games, they've not exactly proved anything. They struggled against the Saints and got battered by them. And they only barely beat the Panthers by just kicking field goals. And although I don't fully trust the Bucks, I also don't trust the Eagles, and I think the Eagles are going to fare off worse in this. So this is probably my upset of the week. I am going to pick the Buccaneers. I think that Baker Mayfield and the Bucks have a better shot at turning up properly next week against the Eagles than the Eagles do of showing up against the Bucks. So I do think the Bucks are more likely to have a game where they can prove themselves. I don't think that's likely with the Eagles this week. So I am going to go with the Buccaneers. But again, like with the Rams, I wouldn't be surprised if the other team won. It's one of those toss-ups. And I'm going with Buccaneers. And that is going to wrap up my wild card round predictions. It's a much shorter video. And these videos will probably continue to be shorter. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your predictions in the comments. Go Hawks, even though we're not playing. <laughs> and until next time, goodbye and have a nice day.